guys, welcome to my channel, Strinchilla. As you can see by the title of this video, today I'll be showing you a few different hairstyles on day three hair. So this is day three hair. I had a I did a braid out three days ago. I'm just showing you guys a few different styles that you can do on your hair when it's looking a little old. It's a little bit of refreshing so that it looks nice and fresh because it's definitely looking a little crustaceous. Okay, let's get right into the video. Um, yeah. So, for these hairstyles, I would just be using, you know, my favorite, the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. I don't like the olive oil one. I tried it. I hated it. This is the one that I like. This is the one that I use. We need a little bit of uh, hair utensils, rat tail comb, brush, and then just a brush to get, you know, the hair slick. A spray bottle. This is just water with a looks like a lot of conditioner, but it's actually just a little bit of conditioner that I just, you know, shook together with some warm water. My straightener. Yes, I know, I know. Heat on my hair, but it's not a lot of heat and it's not a lot of hair. It will be okay. I do it. I have no heat damage right here, really, but they're not at all damaged. As you can see, and I've bleached my hair, as you can see, and there's no damage, so trust me, you will be okay. So you're going to start off by sectioning out the f <coughs> I'm sorry, my dog like came in, not came in, he started barking because someone came in my house and like scared me. But anyways, you want to take these front two sections of your hair, I sectioned it off like an inch square basically of hair um you want to have some bobby pins or either like these little clips on hand because you're going to need them so you want to take your eco styler gel some water and spray that section of hair so it can be nice and like uh easy to smooth out basically yeah you see what i'm brushing it out so that it's nice and flat um and then i'm gonna take the eco styler gel apply that to that piece a good amount not too much because you don't want it like soaking with gel but you want it to be like you want it to stay throughout the day basically so i just brush that through and then i slide that back and this is where the bobby pins or the clips come in handy because you're going to want to clip that or pin it down to the back of your head um yeah I used two bobby pins just to make sure that was extra secure. And then you want to repeat that on the other side and wham. Take that uh, ponytail down, like let your hair back out. I just fluffed it out. Give it a little fluff, fluff, fluff. Bam. Look at that. Mm, Y'all wasn't even ready, were you? A cute a five minute hairstyle. This is one of my favorite go tos because uh, after day three, I'll probably be bunning it up. So I try to stretch that last style out. Um, on to the next style. Taking that down. Um, keeping those sections of hair that I just pinned back, keeping them out, but just straightening up the lines a little bit more because this is going to be a little bit more of a neat style. It's an updo. I'm going to want to braid that um, section into two pieces, two separate braids. Boom, I'm braiding the other side. Um, right here, I had an idea to put beads in my hair. And so I actually, I didn't include that in the beginning of the video, but I ended up grabbing some beads and adding those to my hair. Uh -oh. Just spray that all the way down. Yep, yep. Get your spray bottle. Yep, get your spray bottle. Spray, spray, spray. Make sure that your hair is um, nice and sleeked up into that ponytail. And I'm doing a higher ponytail, kind of right at like, let's see, let's see. The, yeah, a couple, a few inches behind the braids, but at the, the basically very top of my head. So, just giving you a view of that. Go ahead on and put that in a ponytail. I just wrapped it around twice. Um, it doesn't have to be super, super tight. You don't want to pull on your hair too much. I grabbed those beads that I was talking about, added those to the ends of the braid, the braids. So, I obviously did it on both sides. Um. 
Um, no. This is not acceptable. Actually, this is acceptable. I kind of like the black in there. So I just added them to the other side, as you can see. Now you can leave it like this, but I like to take another hair tie and put it right there in the middle of the puff. And you see it like creates like this little bowl. Bam. I got this little bam bam look going on. And um, yeah, so I just fluff that out and it just creates like kind of a smaller puff. And sometimes I like this better because it just, I don't know, I just really like the way it looks. It's like a little puff ball. So ooh, look at that. A bam. This is hairstyle number two. Okay, so uh, moving on to hairstyle number three. I'm just taking that down. Um, this video is all over the place, but it's okay because you can keep your hairstyles either way. Yeah, so just part that hair into, like, like you'd be parting your hair when you do it half up, half down. Um, I left it part in the middle because I will be keeping it separated for this hairstyle. So. I just take a hair tie, tie that first section up into like a tight uh, ponytail right on the crown of my head and then wrap around the hair. And I like to keep it kind of smaller at the base so it's like a little cotton, cotton candy ball, I guess. And I just repeat that on the other side. I'm kind of mad I took the beads out, but that is the finished look. That one's super quick, super easy. Um, that one probably took me two minutes because I already had the braids in, but yeah moving on to the next hairstyle um it's basically like the one we just did but instead of two buns guess how many it is ah one you guessed right so i'm just putting that in a ponytail again on the top of my head fluffing that out a little bit and then i'm taking the hair again and wrapping it around i keep it really really tight at the base because i like that top knot look just playing around with it to see, you know, pulling out hairs, putting hairs back in. And wham! Shorty. Shorty a little baddie. Yup. Yeah. Two minute hairstyles. If you don't want the braids, just, you know, stick them back. And you have another hairstyle. Two in one. Kill two birds with one stone. So that's just me taking out these braids and I thought I looked like a little pretty princess right here and I was like you guys need to see this <laughs> but um yeah I'm just taking out that hairstyle moving on to style number I think four um I'm just making sure that's smoothed out brushing it back brush 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 so whoop so whoop Okay, so I make sure that I like the way that looks on my head and I just go on ahead and boom put in that ponytail holder I put this one really in the back of my head kind of lower to the bottom And then I just fluffed it out because you know why we're having like a back poof action going on right here um, I'm taking that and putting some of the hair back because I didn't want it as big of pieces because instead of braids I'm doing two strand twist um, Yeah, I'm just twisting that down as you can see a quick little two strand twist and boom, we've got a little bit of side, or yeah, side poof, no, low poof action going on. Mmm, slow-mo, slow-mo for the girls. Slow-mo for the girls in the case. Boom. Oh, that shit was on your... This is what we're going to start needing the water in the gel, and I will be putting this in my hair, because it's unnecessary to get snatched on it. To get snatched on it. So it is time for the straightener, I know. But you wanna go on ahead and slick that hair back. You wanna really make sure that you get it slicked down. I used a lots of Eco Styler gel in this. I don't know why I cut that clip out. But I did use a lot of Eco Styler gel to get this really slicked back. Um, just keep brushing until it is as smooth as you like it. Take that hair and try to twirl it as tight as possible since it is day three hair. And your hair is dry. It hasn't um, been wet in some days. It's not going to go as smooth as normal. But I still think that it's a cute look. Now I'm just going on ahead and taking down those twists, brushing those out, and going through it with the straightener. Right in the middle of that action. Right in the middle of that action. 
and my camera died right in the middle of that action but um yeah i'm just going through with the chase method with the comb bam look at that slick silky smooth and yeah i'm just going back in with some eco styler gel touching up those pieces that curled back up and trying to make sure that they're nice and sleek since this is a sleek look um yeah boom that's my favorite yes honey work it keep working i put that day down to be the reverse said this ain't cute say it ain't cute you lied you lied because it's cute and guess how long it took <laughs> five minutes five minutes we doing five minute our hairstyles right here and coming out looking like a baddie coming out look at this movie nasty <laughs> anyway so moving on to the last hairstyle my other favorite hairstyle yes i have two favorites but these are similar so it doesn't count they're both my favorites i'm just sectioning it in half and half into two sections tying that other section out the way so it doesn't like get in the other ponytail um slicking that down you'd use eco styler gel but i already had some in my hair putting it in a ponytail and then taking um, that piece, that the actual ponytail, and twisting it up super, super tight. As tight as I can possibly uh, twist it. Since it is sectioned into two, it's easier to get it into that smaller bun. And I just take a little black hair tie, the little tiny black rubber bands, and tie that around. And then I took a couple of bobby pins and used that to completely secure the bun into place. Because you do want this to stay in place that's all i need for my hair i can sleep in it wrap it up and everything will be fine none of the buns won't fall out or anything so i just repeat that on the other side and wapow look at it mm. i know you like what you see wow art on a wall you know the art on your head so yes this is my favorite one style number seven you know you had to save the best for last I like it a little bit better than the sleek back bun just because it's a little bit more fun, a little bit more, you know, like little kid like, girly like, you know, makes it reminds me of being a kid. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these styles. These are my favorite go to styles when I haven't washed my hair in a few days, but I still want it to look cute. I'm not ready to wash it because it's it's still fairly, you know, clean and I don't want to wash it just yet i will normally refresh my hair too i can do a separate routine on like refreshing my hair these are just like the styles that i do but like i'd already refreshed my hair earlier today it's actually like 10 o'clock at night um this is my hairstyle for tomorrow but um yeah these are my go-to styles for day three slash day four hair um something that i would do i would, might even do it on day five i might try to stretch my hair out five days and do one of these styles but if you liked it please leave me a thumbs up you know let me know in the comments what you thought of the video um let me know what you guys would like to see next uh, on hair what other hair videos you guys would like to see um yeah thanks for watching don't know how to close this but yeah uh Thanks for watching. Come back. No, uh, peace out. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>